Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 39 in chapter 9. In this chapter, we will talk about the linear momentum. And this one, we need to determine the fraction of kinetic energy lost by the neutron when it does the elastic collision with a target particle at rest at a stationary. So in this one, first time look at it. Wow, how can I understand it? It's so difficult. But wait, let's do it together. You will find it super simple. Okay, we can consider this neutron, this particle, we can consider it is, is as object A. This target par particle, we can consider it as object B. So it looks like there is an elastic collision between A and B, and mass A is given. Mass B is unknown, right? It's not decided. And VA is unknown, VB is zero. How can you do that? It says the target pocket is stationary. And then VA plus, VB plus is unknown. So we need to find the fraction of kinetic energy lost by the A. So that means this one is the kinetic energy lost. Use the initial kinetic energy for A minus the final energy for A divided by the initial energy for A, right? This one is the fraction of kinetic energy lost by the A. Do you agree? Yes, it's easy, right? Now, it's, now when we solve these problems, it looks like we need to input the quantities, the kinetic energy for initial, kinetic energy for final, this one. And then finally, this energy becomes this one. It looks like you need to find Va plus. Do you agree? How can you do that? Because remember, it's elastic collisions. So the linear momentum is conserved. Kinetic energy is conserved. By using these two equations, you can find the Va plus and Vb plus in these two equations. In these two equations, I show up in our test book. Uh, if you are interested in that, you can solve it by yourself. But there, I suggest you just remember it. Now, this one Va plus is given. Can you find Va plus? Sure, because Vb is zero. So make Va plus equal to this one. Do you agree? Now you input Va plus there inside. You get this function. Now we simplify this function. We find it, sure, we find it. The fraction of kinetic energy lost is just equals to this equation, this one. Agree? Now the A is given. The B is in these four situations. A, B, C, D, four situations. Can you do that? Sure. Because you can say for first one, A is 1.01 mu. B is 1.01 mu. Easy, just one, right? And the second time, MB is just this one, 2.01 mu. And it's for third situation, the MB is 12 mu. And the, for the fourth situation, the MB is just 208 mu. Thank you.